You're watching 11 Alive Morning News. 11 minutes of nonstop news starts now. First this morning, we have brand new videos showing a deadly shooting near an Atlanta restaurant. Police want you to take a close look and help find the gunman. And first this morning, we are tracking rain moving into the metro. It will last for much of your St. Patrick's Day. We'll time it out. The rush hour is upon us even without the rain. A wreck 85 south at Indian Trail, but that rain is on its way. March Madness tips off, and today a big day for Georgia teams. Everything you need to know about the games and how you can watch. First, a developing story this morning. We have been going through new surveillance videos showing a deadly shooting at an Atlanta restaurant. 11 Live's Jerry Carnes is here to walk us through it. Two surveillance cameras at two separate gas stations were watching as 22-year-old Lenoris McFadden lost his life to gun violence. Police now have video of two cars pulling up to the American Deli on Hill Street. Four men go inside the deli. Moments later, you can see people fleeing the business. A camera at a gas station next door captures a man walking with a gun in his hand. Family members identify Lenoris McFadden as the victim. Police have not said anything publicly so far about any suspects. Sticking with your 11 minutes of nonstop news today, family and friends will gather to remember a Clark Atlanta baseball player. Jatan Sterling was shot and killed near campus. He was 20, and today family and friends will have a viewing in his hometown of Chicago. The celebration of life is tomorrow at 2 p.m. It will be streamed so friends in Atlanta can watch. Right now, a 25-year-old is facing charges accused of killing Sterling more than two weeks ago in the parking lot of the Catholic Center. A controversial sex education proposal for Gwinnett County Schools is on hold. Members of the school board decided not to vote on the new curriculum last night. The current curriculum focuses heavy on abstinence. This new class would also teach kids about consent, gender identity, and sexual orientation, plus sexual abuse and assault. There won't be a vote until next month at the earliest. Today is your last chance to vote early for special elections in Clayton County and the city of Mableton. Voters are deciding on new leadership from the next Clayton County Sheriff to the mayor and council members of Cobb's newest city. If you live in one of the places and don't vote today, you'll have to wait until election day on Tuesday. Polls open soon. Check 11alive.com for all the details. The countdown to tip off in Greensboro is on with under six hours to go. KSU looking to be a Cinderella team in the NCAA tournament. They take on three seed Xavier at 1240 this afternoon. So if you weren't able to make the trip to Greensboro, don't worry. Back here at home, Kennesaw State is hosting a watch party for the Owls for their first ever NCAA tourney appearance. All fans are welcome. The doors at the Convocation Center on campus open at noon. The Lady Bulldogs have their dancing shoes on too. They are opening the NCAA tournament later today in Iowa City. The dogs are a 10 seed. They'll face off against Florida State. It is a sold out game. If you're watching at home, it starts at 1.30 on ESPN2. And that was a look at your top headlines. On a rainy Friday, St. Patrick's Day, Melissa. Plenty of green on the map for this St. Patrick's Day. Yes, we're tracking showers moving in right now. Look at this day part for the day. This morning, midday, afternoon, there's going to be showers that I'm tracking on radar across North Georgia. Now it may not be raining steadily at your house for the entire next 12 hours, but there's going to be plenty of rain to come. So grab the rain gear, send the kids out the door with the rain jackets and give yourself some extra time and distance in between you and the person in front of you on the roads. Still dry at the moment in Atlanta. The atmosphere is moistening though, so it's only a matter of about an hour or so we start before we start to see a lot of that rain reaching the ground inside the perimeter. As you travel up 75, that's where the rain is reaching the ground from Calhoun down to Adairsville, Cartersville. If you're trying to travel down from Bartow County into Cobb County into Atlanta, the rain showers kind of wrap up and the dry weather resumes as you get into a Cobb County Ackworth area. But a lot of rain to come today. So what are we expecting? Mild temperatures to start, showers moving in. Rain does not clear out altogether until we get past sunset this evening. Currently 56 in Atlanta, 54 in Duluth. Peachtree City is 56 as well. So it's a very mild, breezy start to the day. The showers move in this morning during the commute. Lunchtime today, there's going to be numerous showers across North Georgia. But these showers around the morning hours, midday, going to be on the lighter side. As we go our way into the late afternoon, I do think that the intensity of 
if some of this rain is going to pick up. So we'll see some moderate pockets of the rain for the evening commute. Some rumbles of thunder going to be likely as well. But I think the main severe weather threat stays south and west of our area. Here's five o'clock showing rain on top of the metro. But as we fast forward things to eight o'clock, notice how we're starting to dry things out north and west of Atlanta. Last of showers clear this evening as you may be doing some of those St. Patrick's Day festivities. Clouds clear out overnight and colder air will follow. Check this out in the forecast track. The rain clearing out brings in a cooler air mass that turns even colder as we push our way into the second half of the weekend. Tomorrow morning's lows 37 in Atlanta, northwest of town where the freeze watch. We're going to be closer to the freezing mark. Tomorrow afternoon we'll make it into the 50s, but Sunday morning, look at that morning low 31 area wide freezes likely. We'll do it again Monday morning before we finally spring of things a little bit warmer in your seven day forecast crash 60s Wednesday 70s Thursday continuing our 11 minutes of nonstop news this morning with a mother who's bringing her concerns to us here at 11 alive. She's worried about students safety near catching their buses in the morning after seeing so many drivers illegally going around school buses outside of her home. Liza Lucas went to Rome to get some answers. This mom is fighting to keep these kids safe. That's right. Safety is the core of this one. Hannah Freeman installed cameras at her home and reached out to 11 Alive for help after she says she was repeatedly seeing moments like this one. Take a look right here. Drivers illegally passing school buses as they load and unload students outside her home. She was actually in that video right there unloading her kids. Now she wants Rome City Schools to take some action and, and install stop arm cameras to deter drivers from illegally passing. I honestly feel like if I didn't speak out, there would be a chance of a child getting seriously injured. Now, Hannah reached out to the district, and we did too. Rome City Schools says in part that they take these concerns seriously, and they are talking with Rome City police and city leaders about how to address the issue, and they're also studying the need for stop arm cameras. Now, for some perspective here, Georgia was among the first states to allow stop arm cameras. More than a dozen districts, large and small, use the cameras to catch drivers breaking the law. Liza, thank you. Nearly 30 years after the legendary R&B group Escape bursts on the scene, their music still inspires. The Metro Atlanta natives are celebrating three decades since their debut album, Humming Coming At You, with a new reality show. The show, SWV and Escape, the queens of R&B, follows the journey of uniting both 90s groups for a performance. In the first couple of episodes, viewers have gotten behind the scenes look at the ups and downs of what it takes to make that happen. And as we know, with reality TV, there's always some drama, right? With Escape, we've seen the inner conflict between the group and their efforts to get on the same page. I had the chance to sit down with them this week and they weighed in on how they're trying to move forward. As we look at the series of reality TV, there are so many different reality shows being filmed in Atlanta. We're watching for the entertainment value, right? But at the same time, there is a group of women out there who are saying, ladies, we want y'all to get it together. We want to see positivity. We want to see, you know, a resolution. What do you say to that audience that's rooting for the positivity? The positivity, I think, that we are now trying to show is that, you know, we three are still moving along as a unit, um, and we're still doing all the things that we've set out to do. You know, we are missing a member, but we are still moving, and we're still, you know, um, doing, doing big things, you know, together. You can watch the latest episode this Sunday at 8 on Bravo, and if you need to get caught up, you can stream it on the Peacock app. Hey, weather-wise today for St. Patrick's Day, we've got green on the map. Showers are moving in this morning. They're mainly northwest of Atlanta at the moment, but they're going to be creeping into the metro as we get closer to the sunrise. For the afternoon, rain is likely. At times, that rain could be moderate and a few rumbles of thunder thrown in the mix. We're going to be in the 60s today colder but drier this weekend. Before we go, we have to shout out UGA women in Kennesaw State men. Good luck today, NCAA tourney. St. Right. Patty's Day. <laughs> and if you just need to smile to, uh, today, just say thanks in advance to Crash Clark. <laughs> shake it, shake it. I like to, I like to yeah. say it. This man loves a holiday. Loves a holiday. <laughs> have a great day, everybody, and a great weekend. We'll see you back here Monday morning. Shake it, shake Bye. it. <laughs>